Or is that one of them um, 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 uh, calculators, mate? So I can all hear you clapping and cheering with Boo, mate, boo, calculators suck. I don't care. Now I'm gonna unsub, resub, so I can unsub again. To which I cheerily reply with You sit down right now, mate. You're gonna get your freak show. You'll see a nugget. Have I let you down before? Besides, this is all Clint's fault from LGR. <laughs> Been following that channel for oh, 10 years? And he's covered the handheld calculator wars. Early computers just crunch numbers. That's all they did. And a calculator was a pocketable version of that. I mean, you could argue that the smartphone and all that business traces back to these handheld boys right here. So many modern computer companies getting their start with calculators and then moving to the big desktop boys. Clint's gotten doomed to run on one of these. Like, it's, yeah, calculator world would be deep, mate. So it's fun to think that this is like the ultra history of the PC. And like, it goes all the way back to like the Abacus, which is just a name that I enjoy. That's a nice early way to keep track of numbers, mate. Just slide some beads a bit. But I want to stick to counting machines. And um, this first, I don't know if this is going to fit. Oh, man. <laughs> No! No, it doesn't! Oh, the poor iPad! I don't know what year this is, but I'm guessing it's got to be 50s and earlier. Down here are the digits, and um, it's it's not working right. Oh, a little bit? No, the handle doesn't work properly. It's called a Burrows. It weighs a ton. Look, the casing is broken, and look how it's cast! It's like a transmission housing on an old F100 truck. <laughs> it is so heavy! This thing was really cheap. I don't need one of these. And maybe to find the pull open one day, see if there's something very simple wrong with it, I'm guessing not. Not a good example that, lad. I mean, we would call that in the trade, thrashed. Best way to get a good example of what they look like and how they did things, might find a brochure. Oh, baby, sell me this beige nugget right here. I think this is 60s. I'm just gonna have a guess. Ask God I made for technical progress in the office. Oh man, it's got red and black ink. It's almost as high tech as one of those tri-color Bic pens. High speed adding listing machine. Mate, I'd believe it. Look how aerodynamic it looks. Cuts through the office air like a like a big brick, really. Oh, mate, read these stunning features. Escoda adding and listing machines add. Whoa. Subtract. Whoa. Above and below zero. Those are dimensions I didn't know existed. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft Excel, eat your heart out, mate. Well, there you go. That's how they made big stinky invoices back then. Looks like a giant phone. What a stunner. So I made sure to find one out with a big PC name to prove my point earlier. Mate, it's a HP. Look at this lovely leather guy it's in. I don't even know if it is actually leather. And... Yeah. The Hewlett Packard 12C. Now, I know it works. It turns on, and it's got really good memory, because that's what I put into it, like, stinking ages ago, the first time I tried to use it. And, and there's the little thing, like, tried to use it. Look, I mean, I just wanted to do some, you know, two plus two is two. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know how to use it, right? I'm sure someone could just go like, oh, just, it's right there, you stinking idiot. I mean, what, is FC? No. No, okay, the F won't go away now. What, do, no, it's a G now. Stop? No? I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to do simple two plus two addition. Like, a more? A more? Oh no, now it's a one. Um, oh, um. Oh, that just turns it off. I, I can't even turn it on and off again to get rid of the five. The eggs. Oh no, now the one's over there and. <laughs> Hell. St stop. A more? A more? Ooh, what was that? It I amorted too much. I mean, I'm guessing like this was trying to do a lot of really crazy scientific stuff in what is like very slim and compact. It's super light. It runs on like button cells. Oh, it tells you how to amort. But this is literally a simple calculator that I don't know how, I'm gonna try once more. On, oh, look at that mess. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Um, um, uh, um, uh. Uh, oh, I know. Let's divide by zero. Let's, let's wipe it. Yeah, did, did that do it? Five plus five plus ten. Do oh, with there. Plus, no, let's times that by two. Oh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I'm more. So you guys are cussing my channel. You want a nugget. Well, I found one for you. So I bought this one. A, a big part of it is the aesthetic. It is... Beautiful. I don't know if it works and I don't care because I really I bought it for the name. Feast your eyes on the nugget boy. That is 
the Zenny. <laughs> Now, I know electronics like age over time and they turn this color. I bet you it was meant to be white, but we <laughs> you can just feel the budget. It weighs nothing, and I mean it. It is a very simple calculator. I'd expect nothing more from the Zenny. I mean, just think this is the 811th go at it, mate. I'd hate to try a Zenny one. <laughs> you know, it's an old boy, because oh, it's made out of crap. Oh no. Did I break my zenny? It's- it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's corroded. Oh no. But you know it's an old boy, because it takes four- yes! I have a whole army of brand new boys. My brand new boys. You better work in my zenny. I can see already, it's like one of those green vacuum whatever displays. You know, it would be akin to like an old microwave. Okay. Oh no. Guys, the roughest, cheapest nugget I bought for this episode doesn't work. <laughs> it's gonna... It's... Come on! It's, it's like I'm rescuing a dying animal here. <laughs> Dude, it worked! It worked! I did it! I've done it! I've resurrected the Zenny! Come on, yes! <laughs> That was a technique I invented just that very se- I'm gonna leave this off because I might have to finagle it some more. <gasps> Guys, we can use the Zenny. Two plus two. It, it HP our class by the dead Zenny. Oh, I actually like the, the display. It's reasonably bright. Look at that number four. Oh, I can clear it. Okay, what about 110.9 times 23 Two th whatever point one. That's a big number, and I don't care if it's right or not. All right, do they all work? Oh, hang on, I ran out of. Hang on. The every number works. Oh, did you give me an extra nine there, mate? That I didn't ask. For? Oh, it's because it's stuck. It's okay. Oh, the Zenny. <gasps> my brand new nug. It's not brand new. It's actually get. Give me my. Yeah, give them back. Did you like that technique there? Hey. Eh? Oh, there's Zenny everywhere. So this last one is the golden child. It's the one that I actually bought that made me look for the other ones, including the Zenny. And I wanted like a proper professional desktop calculator. I mean, the ones in the 80s and 90s, mm -hmm, look at those beige beauties. But I was looking for one that had something special. 1971 Singer Frieden EC 1118. And right. It, it barely fits and it's fine. A beautiful thing. You absolutely need to plug it into the wall. I had to have this because of the display. Are you ready for Nixie tubes? <laughs> yes. Since this is the calculator that started my little collection here, this is all technically Techmoan's fault because he introduced me to Nixie tubes where each number is a filament. And you can see the numbers sit raised up or lower down. Like Techmoan covered these and then like, you know, sharing that in Monsters Inc. That's what the numerals are. Like they're all Nixie tubes. And in 1971, this was a $600 calculator. You put that in today's money? That is a $4,000 calculator. Oh, and it's got Nixies. But check this, a handle. <laughs> So you can just lug your big singer about. It does the simple guy stuff. Two plus two be the four. And you ready? You can just get rid of it. HP. I, could, I can just do this all day and just watch the numbers turn up. It's so stinking neat. When I'm picking up something high end like that, I really love trying to get the manual. Treasure trove. I mean, it literally tells you how to use it properly. 12 digits. Decimals, those weird knobs here, that's so you can move the decimal point across. This switch here is so you can round numbers up and down. And then, you know, it's got the program dial, which just freaks me out. I'm not a maths guy, I study jazz. But doing some reading up on this, it was made like with these extra features in it for you know, proper heavy business users. Constant position in this mode, the second entry in multiplication or division becomes a constant. Uh-huh. Whoa! Look at it go, man! It's showing you, like, problem. These crappy numbers are two crappy numbers. Let's make it one crappy number. That's how they did it! Whoa, invoices. Business. I mean, I know basic calculators have just been replaced by phones, which is great. It's just a quick bunk and you've got a calculator, eh? Take that, teachers. You always told us, oi, you won't have a calculator in your pocket all the time. But I really do love things that still do the job that they set out to do 
perfectly. This thing works absolutely 100%. And as just a quick addition guy in the house, like, this is so much fun. You just walk up, turn it on, and off you go. And it's why I love vintage headphones so much. It's so much fun just experiencing just how things were back then. And maybe you find that it never stopped being good. Oh, come with me, heavy beast. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because one dollar a month, I direct two videos. Now, on the whole vibe of, like, vintage things still doing the job they always did with just that bit of style and flair that's timeless, this is, a, I believe, a 70s Polaroid SX70 camera. Yeah, what a beast. So, yeah, I, I want to show you some of the epic photos I've taken and just talk about something that's super old and still just super captivating. So, thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. And there we go. One half of the Frankie. You look great. You smell awful there.